Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. In today's video we're going to be comparing Bluestacks Plus N against Nox Player to see which Android emulator really is the best. As you can see on my screen at the minute we have Bluestacks up. Let's take a little look around Bluestacks to see what it has to offer. In the top right hand corner here we have our settings. We have our display options, we have our engine options, which I've set both programs to the exact same settings. We have our boss key and our notifications. We have our preferences and our backup and restore. We also have update, which just tells you if your program's up to date. And we have the about tab. If we now close that down, we can see along the top here, we have My Apps, App Center, Help Center, and Pick a World. And here we have all our apps. I'm going to go ahead now and open up our first game to test out. Right, I've opened up our first game, and at the top you can see what our system is doing. You can see how many frames per second our games are using. You can see how much of our graphics card the game is using, which at the minute is using 18%. And you can see how much memory we are using, and how much CPU. At the minute, you can see it is pushing 60 frames per second, which is great. That is fantastic. That is what we want. Let's just leave the game running for a second to see how much the frames per second drops. Right, for our next game, it says Bluestacks has already done some system keys for us. If we click down on the keyboard, we can see what these keys are. And here you can see we have a X button assigned, we have a space bar and the up arrow. Which is fantastic, that's great, that's what we want to see. Let's go ahead now and try out the game and see what our system does. At the minute it is only doing 56 frames per second. Let's just see what it does once I start racing. And there we go, as you can see, the frames per second did drop a little bit in that game, but it was still really good. Let's go ahead and try out the next game. Right, next up we have Clumsy Ninja. And at the minute you can see we are only getting 29 frames per second, which is a huge difference compared to the last games. Let's just go ahead and see how much more it actually drops. Overall, the game has played fantastic. I believe that the game is obviously only capped at 30 frames per second, which I did not realise at the start. Let's move on to our final game now. And our final game is Faily Breaks. Let's go ahead and see what frames per second we get in this. I did see it just went up to 60 frames per second, which means that this game is capped at 60. But straight away, it's dropped down to 38 frames per second. Wow. So this game really is requiring a lot more from our system. Let's just go ahead and try that again. Here we go again. Let's try not to actually crash this time. Right, and there we have it. That is Bluestacks plus N. Overall, it did do extremely good. I mean, this game, it doesn't actually feel too bad. It is playable. Let's try out Nox Player and see how well that player performs. Right, this is what Nox Player looks like. On the side here, we have a lot of options, which is fantastic. The more options, the better. 
Let's go up to the top here and click on our settings and have a little look to see what settings it has to offer. Straight away we have our general settings which is nice because it actually has a clean up disk space option there. If we now go across to advanced settings, I have changed these settings like I said earlier to the same as blue stacks. We now have our property settings and we have our interface settings. And on the last tab we have our shortcut settings. So there is quite a lot there to play around with which is great. Overall I do like the interface on Nox Player. I think it's very nicely laid out and it's clean and it just really does look nice. Let's go ahead now and try out one of the games just to see how well it does perform on Nox Player compared to Bluestacks. Okay, I don't actually believe this, but Nitro Nation has just failed to work. On Nox Player, it's given me a pink screen, which now puts blue stacks in the lead. Next up, we have Clumsy Ninja. Let's see how well this game plays in Nox Player. And we now have our final game to test on Nox Player. And there we go, overall Nox Player really did disappoint me, the fact that it didn't manage to play that game and it pink screened. Also with Clumsy Ninja I found it was a bit laggy as well compared to what that game was like with Blue Stacks. And also this game at the minute feels a bit more laggy than it did in Blue Stacks. I hope this tutorial helped, if it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.